Namaste. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. So as we arrive on our mats, let's make sure we have what we need for our practice. If you have a belt or belt equivalent, so when we're doing that lying down twist, we're going to do it again um, and extend our legs. So it's quite handy to have a belt or a tie or a um, dressing gown belt will be quite useful. Dog lead, whatever you have available, that's quite long, even a long scarf. Um, perhaps your blocks or anything, large books or a low footstool that will help bring the earth up towards you. So let's make sure we have everything we need. Let's come to our mats in Sukhasan, our steady, stable seat. Coming into ease here. So crossing your legs. And if it helps, you can always place rolled up blankets or cushions underneath your knees. I recommend you sit on a folded blanket, a cushion or a low block, like so. And I often place it just underneath my tailbone. Let's roll your shoulders up towards your ears and then slide them down and away, opening across the heart space. Let's bring our hands, palms face up, folding your ring finger, and then take your thumb and place it on the knuckle in Surya Mudra, the sun mudra, the sun seal, extending your index, middle and ring fingers. And I invite you to observe your breath, bear witness to your breath. Notice the journey of your breath as it flows in and out, breathing through your nostrils, drawing the breath down deep into yourself, and releasing the breath from this place of deep inner self at your core, breathing to and from your core, your Manipur, or even lower your Sadhistan. Follow this journey of the breath. And I invite you to bring a quality of colour to your breath, an uplifting, energising colour, perhaps yellow, orange, a colour of brightness, of warmth. Our practice today is connecting to the season of early winter, the Ritu of Hemant. We're working with the six seasons, so this is an all-year practice. We're drawing on the philosophy of Ayurveda and the doshas, the constitutions which are composed of five elements to differing degrees and proportions. And just as we have those five elements within us, those five elements are present in the environment, the earth, the atmosphere, the planet on which we live, the air with which we breathe in. And we're seeking to harmonize the internal with the external so that we move in harmony with the seasons, that we optimize our health, optimize our well-being. And when we enter early winter, usually about mid-November, here in the Northern Hemisphere, We move towards dry, dark, cold winter nights. 
we turn inward, be, begin to hibernate, withdraw from the world, become introspective. It is a time for restoration. But when we have that kapha like energy externally and it becomes excessive within us, then we can become depressed, isolated, lonely, have low mood, the winter blues can set in. So then a practice like this, whenever we're feeling like that, can help lift us. So remember, opposite balance, like attracts like in Ayurveda and opposite balances. Allow this color that you visualize in your mind's eye to fill your whole being. Inhaling the slightness of being, this sense of uplift. And especially on a morning like today when we've heard news about Ruth Bader Ginsburg passing a great feminist who inspired women around the world and brought gender equity in the US. A morning when we might feel as if we're losing hope, thinking how much worse can this year be? Knowing that on the horizon, we have the ability to change, we have the ability to enact change. So lifting your mood this morning. One more breath here, and then let's bring our palms together at the heart center to formally open our practice. Inhaling fully to prepare for Om. Om. Inhale. Om. Inhale. Om. Hands to your eyebrow center. Namaste and welcome. So let's dedicate our practice today to all of the feminists who have acted, sacrificed, supported change for women, equality for women. So that sense of harmony and balance in the world and in ourselves. Let's place our hands on the earth, lengthen through your spine. Take a moment here, find the balance your gaze ahead on the horizon and visualize the sun rising, the dawn that follows the long night. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. In your Surya Mudra, take your gaze upward. Hold the breath here. Exhale over to the right, coming into a twist. Gaze over your shoulder. See where you've been. See what you're leaving behind. Inhale back to center, reaching up. Exhale over to the left. Again, gazing back, reflecting. So connecting with the seasonal qualities of early winter where we look to where we've been, what? The year behind us has been like. As we come up towards the end of this year, one more breath here, inhale, center, reaching up. Exhale, hands all the way down to the earth, lower your eyebrows, center towards the earth. Bowing forward. Breathe into the back of your heart space here. Again, visualize this color, uplifting color that fills your being. 
that shifts the dark edges, the shadows. One more breath. Walk your hands back towards your body. Open out your arms, spiral your fingers up towards the sky. Let's cross our left elbow over our right elbow. Hands can come to shoulders or backs of hands or right fingertips on left palm. Lift your elbows here, Garudasana. Exhale, fold forward. Again, breathe into the back of your heart space. Inhale, engage your core by drawing your navel towards your spine and lift up. Take a moment here. Exhale, open your arms, spiral your fingertips towards the sky. And then let's cross the left, the right elbow over the left. And again, hands on shoulders, backs of hands or left fingertips on right palm. Lifting your elbows here, Garudasan, eagle arms. Gazing ahead. And then lowering your gaze down towards the earth as you fold forward. Fill the heart space with yellows, oranges, light greens, light blues, any of these uplifting colors. Inhale, engage your core by drawing your navel towards your spine and lift up. Exhale to open your arms out. And then let's tuck the elbows in. Palms face down, curling your fingers and bring your thumbs together. This is our mudra for Agni, Agni Shakti Mudra, the fire energy seal. So this draws up the fire. So have this parallel to your Manipuri, your solar plexus. This is the chakra for transformation and change. So in winter, when we go into a state of dormancy, hibernation, this is when transformation takes place, just as the caterpillar enters the cocoon before emerging as a butterfly. So fire is that transformative quality. Our mantra for today is the Agni Gayatri Mantra. Om Mahaj Valaya Vidmahi Agni Devaya Devaya Dimahi Tanno Agni Prachodayat Om Mahaj Valaya Vidmahi Agni Devaya Dimahi Tanno Agni Prachodayat Let me meditate on the great flame. May fire bless me with higher intelligence. May Agni illuminate my mind. Take a moment here. Connect with your intention for your practice. What is it you would like to cultivate in terms of transformation, change, using the winter months ahead to nurture, to nourish this creativity, these ideas that you have before giving fruit, allowing them to bud and seed in the spring? Taking a moment, let's bring our hands onto the earth. Come onto your knees. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Take a moment here to lift your tailbone, lower your abdomen, lift your gaze. Marjorie Asan, exhaling to curl into Bitli Asan. Three cycles here of cat-cow moving with your own breath. Isolating each vertebrae as you move through. And perhaps you connect with ocean sounding breath, victory breath, ujjayi. This is the constricted breath at the back of the throat. This is a warming, heating, energizing breath. Now let's come into stillness. Extend your right leg long, tuck your toes, push out through the heel of that foot. Take a moment here. Let's lift your left arm up towards the sky. Again, bring your hand into Surya Mudra. Twisted table. 
exhaling let's thread that left arm underneath the right arm bringing your left ear and shoulder to the mat now you can keep your right hand on the air you can bring your fingers into a tripod you can lift your right hand to the sky coming into a balance you also have the option of bringing that right hand to your lower back keep pushing out through that right heel that extended leg one more breath whichever variation you are wherever your right hand is let's bring that right hand back to the earth support yourself and then inhale to rise back into twisted table with the left hand to the sky let's take the left arm to reach forward lift your right leg coming into a balance here if this feels too intense you can bring your left hand to the earth exhaling bend into your right knee bend into your left elbow and let's bring knee and elbow together underneath you your abdomen inhaling to extend exhaling to bend and fold the knee and arm underneath you move like this for three rounds and then re-extend take a moment here let's bring the left hand to the earth cross the right leg over so that you are tucking in at the top of your legs here so take that right leg over to the left as far as it can go and you'll feel a deep extension on the right side here of your abdomen take a breath here and then let's bend into the knees so that your knees are now crossed coming into the shoelace pose gumakasan with your hands you can come onto your finger fingertips so that you have a tripod shape walk your hands back towards your body now depending on how tight your hips are or how your knees feel you can either sit back into gumakasan you can also sit on a block or a cushion so place a block or cushion underneath your sit bone maybe as many uh your as many cushions as you want to bring the earth up towards you or you can stay slightly elevated with your hips elevated so that there's less pressure in your knees and hips matters not which variation you're in if your wrists are beginning to feel tired folding your fingers so you create um, these little folded fists soft so they act as a steady pillar so you will be at various places here in Gumakasan. If you are sitting back, you can bring your fingertips to the earth, lengthen through your spine, gaze to the horizon. If you are leaning forward, find something to gaze on on the mat. That's a sort of a arm's length in front of you so that your gaze is diagonal on the earth again what we're doing we want to be looking forward wherever we are one more breath here in your variation of gumakasan and then if you're sitting back lift up coming back into this table format and then release your right leg and let's bring both knees onto the earth perhaps you shake out your hips from left to right circling here maybe one way then the other if you're water this is where you'll hear your bones clicking and then let's move to the other side extend that left leg long tuck the toes lift the right fingertips to the sky in your surya mudra gazing up towards the sky lifting here so we're balancing counterbalancing the kapha energy by bringing in the pitta energy the fire element 
Exhale, let's take that right arm underneath the left arm. And again, bring your right shoulder or ear to the mat or a cushion. So this left hand can stay on the earth. You can create a little tripod with it by coming onto the fingertips. You can reach up towards the sky. You can take that left hand behind your lower back. So you can be in different places here. Breathe into the twist here, to your navel. So as we're connecting with fire element, Pitta, to counterbalance Kapha and Vata, because during early winter, we can have very windy, dry days. So both Kapha and Vata can be in excess in the environment and therefore build an excess in us. So we draw out Pitta. One more breath here, wherever you are. Let's bring that left hand to the earth, stabilize, and then inhale to lift the right fingertips to the sky. Take a moment here, and then exhale, take the right hand forward, lift the left leg so that you come into your balance. And remember, you can bring your right hand directly to the earth to support you here in your balance. One breath here. Let's bend into the left knee, bend into the right elbow and bring them underneath our abdomen to touch. Extending and folding on the exhale. Extending on the inhale. Three rounds here. Folding on the exhale. And when you've done your third, third round, leg and arm extended. Take a moment here. And then let's release the right hand to the earth, cross that left leg over to the right as far as it can go so that the tops of your legs are connected here. And then gaze sort of at the top of your mat. Bend into your knees, and this is where we're going to move into Gumakasan. So begin to walk your hands back and then stop at whichever point is comfortable for you. Don't move beyond that point. You don't want to create any pain. So coming wherever feels comfortable, and if you go back and then it doesn't feel comfortable there, move forward again. Again, you can sit on a cushion or a block in your gumakasan. Have your fingertips on the earth if you're sitting back, gaze to the horizon, lengthening through your crown. And if you're leaning forward slightly, Gaze towards the top of your mat. So your palms can be planted, you can have little fists, you can be on your tripod fingers, yogi's choice. One more breath here. And then whichever variation of Gumakasana you are, let's walk our hands forward, coming back into this table shape. Let's extend that left leg and bring it round so that our knees are underneath our hips. And again, let's sway our hips one way, then the other, perhaps circling them one way, then the other. Creating a little bit of fluid movement here. And if you want to come into an extended child's pose, that might feel quite releasing for your shoulders, your wrists, eyebrow center on the earth or cushion. So reach as far as you can with your arms, your fingertips to create 
extension underneath your armpits. And then let's rise into mountain. Tuck your toes, take a moment here, lift your knees, hover. And then take your tailbone towards the back of your mat before you start to straighten out through your knees. Checking your alignment here. Your fingers are splayed wide. Your index fingers are pointing forward. Your ears are between your arms. Your heels are heading towards the earth. Let's pedal here. Coming into your mountain, Parvatasan. Take a breath here. I invite Simasan Pranayam. So take a breath in through your nose, out through open mouth to make a gentle roar sound. And then let's take a walk or a jump, if you so choose, to the top of your mat, coming into a forward fold here. I'm going to ask you to cross your right leg behind your left. So that the outer, the outer edge of your feet are together, the small toe side and bend into your knees here. So you will feel this in your right hip. Your abdomen is resting on your thigh. Walk your hands over to the right. Through center and then over to the left and it will feel different on both sides. Back to center. Uncross your right leg and let's take the left leg behind the right leg this time. And again, bend into your knees slightly or deeply, whatever you need. Let's walk your hands over to the left. So this is more of the open side. Crossing over to the right. This is where it will feel a little more closed. Back to center. Uncross your legs. Bend into your knees. Inhale. Rise into chair pose, Utkatasan. So your arms can be reaching forward, parallel, or you can tuck your elbows, folding your fingers and have your thumbs touching in Agni Shakti Mutra. So Surya Mudra with arms extended, or Agni Shakti Mudra with elbows tucked, yogi's choice. One breath here, sink low, and then inhale to rise to standing. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment here. Now we're going to move into Surya Namaskar round. You might want to shake out your legs, especially with all, with all the crossing and the extension, you might be feeling it in your hips, you're feeling it down your hamstrings. So check how you're feeling here. What we're doing is we're taking the um, energy into our legs as a way of springing forward, stepping forward, moving ahead so that we don't stagnate, stay stuck where we are. Take a moment here, inhale, reach to sky. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on thighs, tucking your elbows. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Ardha Surya Namaskar. Half sun salutation, exhale to your heart. Inhale to rise up. Surya Mutra, exhale to fold. Inhale, hands on shins, crown reaching forward, tailbone reaching back. Exhale, fold. Inhale to reach up, Surya Mutra. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more time, moving with your breath. Inhale to rise. 
Exhale to fold down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. So fingertips can be on the earth for this round or on your shins. Halfway. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Inhale. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to your heart. Tadasana. Moving on, Surya Namaskar, full sun salutations, reaching up, exhaling to fold. Inhale, step the right leg long, bring the knee to the earth, untuck your toes. Take a moment here, plot the right hand, lift the left fingertips to the sky. Gaze up. Again, perhaps you visualize the stream of color that you connected with, radiating out from you. Take the left hand behind the lower back, spiral the heart towards the sky. One more breath here. Turn your gaze down towards the earth, followed by your heart. Let's bring that left hand to the inside of the left foot. Shuffle that left foot out. Dragon pose here. You have the option of coming onto your forearms. You also have the option of lifting your right knee. We'll just be here for a moment. So you'll be in high dragon or low dragon. One more breath. Let's lift that right knee if it's on the earth. Step back along with the left leg, body parallel. You can bring your knees directly to the earth here. And when we're all ready, let's ash down to the earth, knees, chest, and chin, tailbone lifted. Slide the knees away, abdomen on the earth. We're going to rise in Bhujangasan, Cobra. Inhale, lift the crown and the heart space. Exhale to lower. Inhale, reach your hands behind your lower back. Clasp your fingers in a mudra, yoga mudra here. We're going to lift the crown and the heart space again and reach out through your hands through this mudra as you rise. Inhale to rise. To draw your arms together. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Keep your toes connected with the earth for this round. You'll notice how the breath changes. Exhale, release the crown. Release the hands, pressing into the earth, rise through table into mountain. Take a simasan pranayam here, lion's breath. Inhale through nose, out through open mouth. Take a breath. We're going to step forward with the right foot. So I invite you to bring the left knee to the mat for this time and then step forward with the right foot here. Low lunge. Inhale, lift through your heart. Tuck your elbows, come into Agni Shakti Mudra. So tucking your elbows, bringing your thumbs together. Sink low with your hips. Create a diagonal on that left leg. One breath here. Connect with your intention to lift your energy, to transform, to lift your mood, to connect with hope. Inhale, rise your hands to the sky in Surya Mudra. One breath more. Exhale, hands to the earth, tuck your left toes and step forward with your left foot to meet your right. Forward fold, Uttanasana. 
Inhaling, let's rise through chair pose. Again, your variation with your arms. Take a moment here, then to sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. So Surya Namaskar with purpose, with variation. You can do traditional rounds of Surya Namaskar, or you can add in elements of your practice that you wish to cultivate, to inspire. Inhale, hands to the sky, moving over to the other side. Exhale, fold down towards the earth. Let's step back long with that left leg, bring the knee to the earth. Planting the left hand on the earth. Inhale, draw the right hand to the sky in Surya Mudra. Ring finger folded, thumb on the knuckle. Again, visualize this color that is radiating out from your being, giving you a sense of warmth, uplift, energy. One more breath here. Take this right hand to your lower back, spiral the heart towards the sky. Your gaze can be wherever, so depending on how your neck feels, so for me, I have upper back and neck and shoulder issues. So for me to lift my gaze feels very challenging. So you can bring your neck to a more neutral place. One more breath here. Turn the gaze down towards the earth. Let's bring that right hand to the inside of the right foot. Shuffle the right foot out, coming into dragon your variation. So you can have your knee on the earth, you can tuck your toes and lift your knee, you can be on your hands, you can come onto your forearms. Low flying or high flying dragon, yogi's choice. Connect with your ujjayi breath, that constricted breath at the back of the throat. One more breath wherever you are. Then if your left knee is on the earth, lift your left knee and step back long in plank. You can pause for a moment in plank or you can bring your knees directly to the earth. Untucking your toes. Bend into your elbows, chest and chin to the earth. Everybody to meet in Ashtang Asan. Knees, chest, chin pose. Slide the knees away. I'm going to rise in cobra here on the inhale. Tuck the elbows in towards your ribs. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Gaze ahead. Exhale to lower. Reach behind, interlace your hands, and this time take um, the opposite thumb on top. You'll know it's the opposite thumb because it will feel odd. So draw your hands down and away from your body so that you are drawing your shoulder blades together and your shoulders are pulling away from your ears. Inhale, lift your crown, your heart and reach through your yoga mudra hands. Let's take a couple of breaths here. You will rise and fall ever so gently. And then let's lower the head, release the hands, bring them alongside your shoulders and rise into table. And then mountain. Let's take Simhasana Pranayam here, lion's breath, in through your nose, out through open mouth. I'm going to step forward with the left leg. So let's bring the right knee to the earth and step forward. Take a moment here to align. So your left knee is above the left ankle. The right leg is at an angle. That thigh is sloping. So it doesn't matter how, how um, intense the 
that angle is whatever feels sustainable for you. Inhale, let's bring our hands into Agni Shakti Mudra here. So tucking your elbows, thumbs touching at the Manipur, the solar plexus here just above your belly button. Connect with what you wish to transform, the energy that you wish to energize, the intention you wish to feed, nourish. Inhale, hands to sky. Lifting your gaze perhaps up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the earth. Let's step forward with the right foot to meet the left. I'm going to rise through Utkatasana chair pose or strong pose, bending into your knees. Arms can reach forward in Surya Mudra or you can have your elbows tucked in Agni Shakti Mudra, the thumbs touching, fingers folded in. Yogi's choice, whatever feels sustainable for you. Always listening and responding to your body. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath here. And as you breathe, visualize this color of optimism, of uplift, of energy. Some of us may choose bright colors like yellow. Some of us may choose vibrant colors like orange. Color of the sky, the color of nature's green. Some of us may choose a golden light or a silver light. bringing this harmony between mind, body, and breath. Om Mahat Valaya Vidmahi Agni Devaya Dimahi Danno Agni Prajodayat. Let us meditate on the great flame. Adding on, inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, step back along with the right foot. Stay on the ball of the foot for the moment. Inhale to rise. Come into your Agni Shakti Mudra first, tucking the elbows in. So we're in high lunge here. Keep reaching out for the heel of that right foot. Take a moment, reach your arms up towards the sky in Surya Mudra and as you do that, Straighten through that left leg. Exhaling, bend into your left knee and bring your elbows in into Agni Shakti Mudra. So we're moving between the Agni seal, the Agni Shakti seal and the Surya seal, the fire seal and the sun seal. Inhale to rise up, straighten through your left leg, reaching your hands towards the sky. Exhaling to bend into that left knee, tucking the elbows. One more time, inhale to rise. Exhale to come into your Agni Shakti, bending into that left knee. Take a moment here, bring your hands to the earth. Let's step back along with the left leg coming into body parallel, Falakasan. You can come directly to the earth. I offer you the option of coming down in Chattarang Dasan and rising in Updog, Urdhva Mukha Shavanasan, Yogi's Choice. So eight limbed pose, knees, chest, chin, or Chattarang down to the earth. Inhale to rise in Cobra or Updog, Yogi's Choice. Exhale back into Mountain. Moving through table if you choose. Take a lion's breath here, Simasan Pranayam. 
We're going to step forward with the right leg. So you can lift the right toes behind you, reach as far as you can. Bend into your knee, stack the right hip on the left hip for a moment. And then let's take that right foot as close to our right hand as we can. Taking the foot wide helps. And then bring that foot in if you've taken it wide. Low lunge here. Stay on the ball of that left foot. Plant the left hand on the earth. Inhale, reach up with the right hand to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the lower back. If at any point you wish to bring the left knee to the earth, please do. You can also have your left hand on a block here. Spiral the gaze down towards the earth. Bring the right hand to the earth. Step forward with the left foot to meet the right. Inhale to rise through Utkatasana chair pose. And reaching up, exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment here. You can take a little samasan, lion's breath, or stay connected with Ujjayi Pranayam. Ocean sounding, victory breath. Inhale, hands to sky, moving to the other side. Exhale to fold down towards the earth. And my dog. Bottom. Let's step back long with the left leg this time. Take a moment to balance and then inhale, rise. Tuck your elbows, coming into Agni Shakti here at the solar plexus at the Manipur. And again, connect with what it is you wish to transform and release or cultivate. We're going to rise with our hands and straighten through our right leg. Inhale to rise in Surya Mudra to the sky. Exhaling, bend into that right knee, tuck the elbows, Agni Shakti Mudra. Inhale to rise. Exhale to bend into the right knee. One more time, inhale to rise. Exhale to bend into your right knee, Shakti Mudra here. Take a moment and then let's bring our hands down to the earth. We're going to step back long with the right foot and again, your choice. Eight limb pose to the earth, knees, chest, chin, or chaturang to the earth. If you're coming knees, chest, chin, you rise in cobra. If you're chaturang, rise in updog, utva, mukha, shavanasana. Gazing ahead. And then let's all meet in mountain, parvatasana. Take a lion's breath here, in through your nose, out through open mouth. We're going to step forward with that left leg, so reach behind. Bend into that left knee and stack the left hip on top of the right. And then let's step forward with the left foot. So take the left foot wide if that helps. And then move the left foot in staying on the ball of that foot plant the right hand let's lift the left onto the sky take the left hand to your lower back spiral your heart and your gaze towards the sky nearly there Exhale, gaze down towards the earth. Let's step forward with the right foot to meet the left. Inhale to rise through chair. Coming into your variation of chair. 
Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a full breath here. Om Mahajvalaya Vidmahi Agni Devaya Dimahi Tanno Agni Prachodayat. One more breath here. And let's come to the center of our mat. Take our feet wide. Toes pointing forward. Tuck in your elbows. Exhaling, hinge from the hips. So that you come to halfway lift. Heart is parallel to the earth, crown reaching forward, tailbone reaching back. Then let's bring your hands down towards the earth. Lower your crown down towards the earth. If you wish, you bend into your knees. Release everything here into the earth. So returning to the earth at the end of our practice. Here we are inward looking, introspective. Let's come halfway, heel, toe, heel, toe, coming through Malasan, squat here. And remember, you can come directly to the earth. You can sit on a block or a cushion or your low footstool. Let's just take a moment here before we come to the earth. And then coming to the earth. Bend into your knees. Reach forward with your fingertips coming into your Surya Mudra. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Lower down towards the earth by engaging your core and curling your spine. So if you have a belt handy, this is where it might be quite useful for you. I don't have my belt handy. So let's hug your knees in. And we'll drop the knees over to the left. If you wish, you can extend your legs and reach for your right leg with your left hand or you can wrap your belt around your toes. We'll take hold of your right foot. I don't know if you can see me. I'll go and push in a bit. So I have my belt thrown at me. If you put your belt around your toes like this, then you can extend your legs by holding onto your belt. Maintain a connection between the right shoulder and the earth as much as you can. The belt helps make your arms longer. Take a full breath here. And then let's inhale and draw our knees back to the center.
So if you have your belt, you can wrap it around your knees. Drop your knees over to the right this time. And then extend your legs by holding onto your belt. I haven't got enough space here. So maintain a connection between the left shoulder and the earth. If you don't have a belt, simply reach for your left leg with your right hand or your left foot with your right hand. You can also take hold of your toe. The various options. One more breath here. And then let's inhale, bending into your knees back to center. Hug your knees in here. Now, before we come to the earth, Vishabhasa, I offer you the option of coming into shoulder stand or half shoulder stand, or legs up the wall. Yogi's choice. So if you're near a wall, shuffle your hip bones right up against the wall, bend into your knees, and then as you reach your legs up the wall, use the hand closest to the wall to sort of turn your upper body up so that you're at a 90 degree angle to the wall. So just take a little bit of shuffling to get into this legs up the wall. Vipariti karni pose. That's one option. Make sure I don't go into my dogs here. If you're moving into shoulder stand, have your hands on the earth, bend into your knees, and then using your elbow, your upper arms and your hands, Tuck your knees in towards your eyebrow center and then immediately support your lower back. And then reach up with your toes towards the sky, supporting your lower back. And then when you are happy where you are, you can walk your hands down your back towards your shoulders. Keep gazing up towards your toes. So you might be in half shoulder stand, in which case your legs are at a slight angle and you're supporting your lower back. One more breath here. And wherever you are, bend into your knees. And then if you're in shoulder stand, place your hands on the earth to slowly uncurl your back onto the earth, using your arms as brakes. And if you're on the wall, hug your knees in and then roll over onto your side. Moving into the counter pose, Matsyasan, before we move into Shavasana. So extending your legs, or keeping a bend in and lifting your hip bones first, and then place your hands, palms face down on the earth, and then rest your sit bones onto the backs of your hands, and then extend your legs long. Then tuck your shoulder blades towards each other, tuck your elbows underneath you, and lift onto your forearms. Keep your chin, chin tucked into the throat here for the moment. Dome your chest. You can stay here, or you can reach back with your crown towards the earth. The throat space is open. Three breaths here in Matsyasan fish pose. And then 
release the back of your head to the earth. Release your hands from underneath you. And rest in Shavasana. Arms away from your body, legs apart, feet relaxed. Om Mahajvalaya Vidmahi Agni Devaya Dimahi Tanno Agni Prachodayat. One more breath here. And then begin to curl your fingers and toes, uncurling and curling. Sway your head from left to right. Bending into your knees, roll over onto one side. And then with helping hands, coming up to your seat. bringing your hands together at the heart center. Rub your palms together to create some fire, some heat, some warmth. And then place your hands over your eyes. Draw the warmth from your palms into your eyes. And then draw your hands down and away, parting your fingers. Closing our practice by chanting Om Shanti. Inhale fully. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Danyavad. Thank you, yogis, for joining me in our practice today. Like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. And join me on tomorrow, Sunday night for Yin and see you all soon.